Hi guys, it's me Raymond and today I am back to bring you another doll review and today we're going to take a look at one of probably the most iconic dolls in all of Barbie um, and you either love her or hate her, think she's weird. Uh, I personally like them a lot. I think that they're really cool and kind of they're just different. Um, so we're going to look at the pregnant Midge doll um, or pregnant Barbie which is incorrect. Everyone always wants to say there is a pregnant Barbie. No, this is the pregnant Barbie, even though it's not Barbie, it's Midge. Um, and we're going to look at the African-American version of the doll because I have both. Um, I recently got them on a selling wall on Facebook. And um, uh, yeah, so I have them both. And I don't see very many reviews of her. So she's the exact same, but um, just a, a different face mold and um, race, obviously. But um, she's really pretty. I really like her actually. I I don't think I remember anybody having her around me. Um, so yeah, I do remember these dolls. I'm talking about that. I do remember these dolls from when I was little. Um, I remember um, a lot of my neighbor friends having the, you know, the midge with the red hair and everything. And I remember them having this dress and um, I don't remember these shoes really <laughs> because kids always lose the shoes. But um, I totally remember people like making their dolls have a baby all the time, like all the time. So I was around her a lot. And um, you know, I, like I've said a million times, I just was not into Barbie then. I just really wasn't, um, not modern Barbies. I just didn't, I don't know. I would like play with them don't get me wrong, but I didn't buy them. Like I thought they were just, I don't know. I wasn't into it. I wanted brats. Um, I wanted all the brats I could get my grubby little hands on. <laughs> um, so I didn't have these, but I definitely played with them and like was around them. So, um, yeah, I didn't know there was an African American version. Like they don't put them in the commercials or anything. So, um, and I didn't really go through the Barbie aisles a ton as a kid. I don't, if, if I did, I don't, like, I just don't remember. So, um, so yeah, I, when I saw that somebody was selling her and the, um, Caucasian, um, they wanted a little much for them to be honest. So I talked him down a little and, um, so I got them both and I was happy to get them both. And I, when I got them in person, um, I definitely thought she was stunning. Like I love her face. Um, she uses the teen skipper face mold. So I do think she looks a little young. And I also think that about Midge, um, in general, like, I think she looks the, I don't know, I'm going to be honest here. And this isn't exactly like G rated, but I just think that she looks so like unstylish. And <laughs> this dress is really ugly to me personally. I don't think this dress is cute. The color, it doesn't look very great. Um, the thing that early happy family stuff kind of bugs me about is like the the colors used they're all pastels like all of it it's like oh it's too much and they're not pretty pastels or like neon pastels you know what I mean like they're just not very pretty so I just think she looks so virginal and not like she'd be married and having a baby like she just looks like a teenager that's like I'm 16 and pregnant like I don't know she doesn't look the part to me. Um, so it's kind of interesting. I mean, maybe that's the whole point. I, I don't know, but, uh, yeah. So she just has a simple little stud earrings. Um, I didn't know they were still doing that at this time. Like I don't, I just don't have a ton of dolls from the early 2000s. So I didn't know they were still using those little studs. But yeah. She has little stud earrings. She has little braids in her hair. So there's two that come back and then there's two that just hang down like this. Um, I don't really know what style they're going for. Like, she just seems stylless to me. Like, this dress is awful. I've been looking at other clothes for them for a while so that I can change them out. Because I just don't, I'm not a fan. I'm just not a fan, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, so it's kind of an awkward shape, too. Um, like, how short it is. I'm just surprised uh, how short it is. It should just be a little longer to me. Um... Not saying that she can't like wear this, but just the fact that like, it's like an inch or so above her panty line. Like I just, you know, I don't know. But, um, so she has these little, well, really they're not little, they're like big chunky, um, what do they call these? Sandals. 
not chunky sandals. What the hell are these called? Oh my God, I'm being so vulgar. Um, I can't think of what they're called. Wedges. There we go. She has wedges on, which is just crazy. Um, and she also has like articulated arms which I really actually like. I do think the posability is kind of minimal. Um, I do wish that they would like bend this way, you know, so they can only go like this and then you can flip it around and bend it like this. But it doesn't make it easier for her to hold a baby that way. So, I mean, no big deal. She has a ring on this hand and her ring is silver actually. I wonder what the Caucasians is, I don't remember. I thought they were gold. Interesting. Unless I'm thinking of Happy Fam or Heart Family. Um, so yeah, she and she just has basic um, bendable knees there. Well, they're not basic anymore. These are long out of style. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm going to expose you. So as you can tell, she's pregnant. She has her thing in right now. Um, so if I just pull this up, oops, I <laughs> pulled her stomach off. So if I just pull this up, you guys can see her underwear that she's painted on, and her stomach actually has underwear painted on too, which is, I think, kind of cool and kind of funny, and it lines up perfectly. Um, so that's what her stomach looks like. It's just held on with magnets. There are magnets on here and inside of her stomach. So you can't, I wish I could like represent the, the force here, but there we go. So it's pretty strong. One of my magnets like started to flake though when I took her out of the box um but yeah so she just is a basic normal Barbie there underneath she's just an ordinary Barbie you can do anything that you want with her and the baby obviously fits right inside of there when you like fold it up a certain way so yeah she's really cool I, I think you know everybody gives these dolls a lot of crap but I think that they really had something there I think that there's a lot of playability there um, and there's also a lot of room for education, like, that's my dog, sorry. My mom just pulled in the driveway, and my dog was really excited. <laughs> but, um, oh, Buffy. Okay, sorry, I had to wait for my dog to stop. Okay, so, <laughs> so as I was saying, I think that there's a lot of room for education, um, in terms of pregnancy, and, like, you don't have to get specific, you don't have to talk about... I don't know but I think like it's a really good tool for people that maybe are having a child and they have a, a kid already that's into dolls and stuff and maybe this would help explain kind of I don't know or like they can pretend to make their Barbie a mom too I don't know but I do think it's interesting and I think that it's really cool actually and fun and like it like I said it just adds a lot of room for playability and room for different characters like the grandparents which I've already reviewed like you know lots of different play elements can be brought in and I think that's something that Barbie especially as a brand lacks a lot of the time like they don't really emphasize the sisters anymore um, only when it's convenient for a movie <laughs> tie-in um, but you know it's like they don't really do too many babies unless there's babysitting they don't really sh they've never shown Barbie's parents or you know Skipper Stacy Chelsea Kelly, whatever, Shelly, for those of you in Europe. Um, so they don't really have like that family thing going on. And I think that um, what's really cool about the Hart family and later Happy family is that it has family and you can act out whatever you want with, with family dolls and it has grandparents and parents and babies. And, you know, they kind of help you form a story, but you can also make things up for yourself. So um, I just think that that's really cool that it allows you to do that. And we also get really cool things like cribs and toy stores and this and that out of these sort of lines that feature this stuff. And I see dolls that are really popular, like those little doll houses from like Fisher Price and stuff that um, feature these kind of themes like grandparents, families, etc. cetera. Um, and they sell really well and do really well with kids. And these did, as far as I know, really well with children too. I think there was controversy about like a man not being in her box or something. Like she's a single mom. I don't know. People are dumb. But um, other than that, I remember lots of children having these. And when I look at stuff for Heart Family, there seems to be a lot of warmth, you know, 
memories about, um, warm memories, excuse me, about um, the Hart family and that line. So I think that that's something Mattel needs to consider is bringing something like this back into play um, because it did really well. And these do really, really well in the second market. <laughs> um, so well that it's going to take me a long time to get all of them because I cannot find them for decent prices very, very seldom, and I have to freaking bid all night <laughs> and keep an eye on it all day <laughs> as it's ending. So, um, anyway, I'll get to the rest of the review now. <laughs> so that's her, and she's really beautiful. I do think her forehead's a little big, though. She looks good in a hat, so... <laughs> um, if anybody knows any outfits that come with, like, bucket hats, because those look really cute on them, let me know. So when she brings her little bundle of joy home goes right in here and I'll show you the really cool like little gimmick with this in a second but her little baby's in there sleeping and the phone is ringing who could it be I don't know who could it be I don't know who that is I should probably bleep that out or maybe you can call them and, and let them know to not call here while I'm doing reviews. <laughs> anyway, so this is the baby. And I'm going to be very blunt. Um, I don't love the babies. I, I just find them very, like, weird looking. Like, I don't think they're that cute. I'm sorry, I don't. They're kind of weird. I prefer, like, the Nikki size dolls better. That's why I wanted a Nikki. And I want more for the kids. And I, uh, no, I didn't get a Nikki. I mean, Chrissy, sorry. I do want a Nikki too, though. I want both um, African-American and Caucasian. So yeah, I want those. Um, I've been looking at different sets, but like I said, they just um, are so expensive. So anyway, so Chrissy had to suffice for Nikki for now. Anyway, <laughs> so this is the baby and it has a diaper on. And it is just Velcro and you like fold it around and stick it on there. It doesn't stay on very well. And it, like, as you can see, it's kind of like, it just doesn't want to see Look, there we go. So uh, it's kind of annoying. And I remember there was one that I had that I got in like a baggie of stuff at a yard sale years ago that um, had a diaper painted on. I don't know what happened to it, but I think that was came with Dr. Barbie maybe for this line. Cause there is a Barbie too. They had to shoehorn her in as well. She's like Midge's friend and doctor. Um, anyway, so the baby is really cute. Uh, I don't know. It's cute, but it's not my favorite. Um, and its head is kind of like wobbly, which is weird. Um, but it has brown eyes and just, I don't know, it's very basic in the way it's painted. And its eyes look a little too big to me. But um, yeah, I think on the box they aren't... I don't even know if they say that. Oh, it does say it's a girl. I know that there was some that it didn't say what it was, right? I think that's the, like the second ones that came out later and she's wearing a different dress and stuff. But, which is weird to me because there's like this little, I don't know. I'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> but yeah, that's the baby. Um, its arms move up and down. You have to kind of put it in like this position to fit it in her stomach. So I gotta fix its diaper. I'll do that off camera. <laughs> but so here is the crib slash baby changer because it flips upside down. Um, so, well, here's a little like swaddling blanket and it also has Velcro and it just hooks on the front. Um, and it actually doesn't have like a soft part for you to like Velcro it to. It just you Velcro it to the blanket because it's soft itself. And then here is just like a normal little baby blanket and it has a like, print on it. It's like that pastel, like I said, it has a little like, sheep, like it's counting sheep. Um, so then we have the bed and here's the mattress. And then the drawer came out. And there's a drawer on this side and there's a drawer over here as well. But it's upside down because you flip it upside down. So like this comes out, the mattress, and then it's this way where it has kind of like guards on the side. So you push this down and you sit that on there and that becomes a changing table for the baby. 
and you put, can put little things in here. I think this is just to like sit them on there though, like the the little accessories that come with it. Like they're not to store in there because these aren't very, this side isn't very deep or very big. It doesn't really fit anything in there. Um, so yeah, and then on this side there are like little toys to play with that are just kind of on I don't really, I mean, they're whatever to me. I don't really care that much about those. Um, but yeah, this drawer is, and you can flip them upside down. So like if I wanted to keep it like this and have the drawer this way, I could just put it in there like that. So there we go. It's really easy. I think it's a really practical thing. Um, we have a little bathtub for the baby. It just has like a little star print on there and then, not print, but like a mold. And then it has like a little thing to put an accessory in, like shampoo or something. Um, then we have like a little bottle warmer and it is like a duck. And then here is the bottle. And I actually like these bottles, even though they don't sit up, which is a, a problem, I think. Um, it doesn't sit up, but it does have like this where you can easily put the doll's hand in there so she can hold it. So I do like that about it, but it also doesn't really fit in there very well. It sticks way out. I don't know if it's supposed to, but it just doesn't like, I don't know. It always seems to look weird to me. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but it came with it. It's a bear and it has a heart, but yeah, it's just like something. I don't know. It doesn't really describe things on here. That's the problem with, um, with these dolls is that they don't, they don't have descriptions anymore, which is something they used to have years ago. So this is really cool. Um, it has like wipes for the baby. And then, so this one actually comes out and you can actually use it, which is pretty neat. But obviously there's only one and I'm sure that kids lost this pretty easily. <laughs> uh, I know I would have if I had this years ago, but I do think it's really cool. And it has like little hearts on it. You probably can't really, there we go. There is, weirdly enough, just one baby monitor. You'd think that there would be two. But I do have two since I have the Caucasian doll, so I just have them in the same room when I play. <laughs> anyway, um, here's like baby powder, and it also has little hearts on it, and little holes on the top. Um, here is a teddy bear that looks just like the pink one, except this one is purple. It's really cute. Here's a tiny little rattle and it is like a flower with a little squiggly on it. And so here is a little top for the baby and it has a little bear. I find that it doesn't really fit that well. Um, the baby's just kind of awkward to dress, <laughs> so I don't have it on there. And here is the box, and as you can see, I think I think the controversy was that they didn't have the man in there, so they went back and they put the men in here and the women in the boxes too. Um, and actually, my Caucasian doesn't have one, so I, she might be like a first edition one. Um, but I don't really know that for sure. I'm pretty sure that's the story though, is that they went back and had to like put those in. Cause like people at Walmart were complaining. I don't know. Anyway, so here is, see that's the doctor and um, Alan and Ryan. I think it's interesting that they use the same face mold, I think for the, for the white and the African-American dolls for the men, but not the same face for the women. And then the uh, Barbie uses the face they were using for Christy at the time, which I think is the Asha face, I'm pretty sure. I can't read this because there's a sticker on here. So, sorry guys. Uh, but it just, I like how they have these, They where they talk about, um, you know, the little story that's made up. So, and there are some like little family photos on here. Like here's this and here's where they got married and I don't think they had wedding outfits for them, which they probably should have. 
but I know they did make several different fashion packs for the dolls and I need to get them. Um, yeah, and then it shows you how to make it the changing table and how it's a cradle and all that stuff. And it says, supporting children in the arts, Barbie cares. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, so here we have some instructions. And it actually does show the contents here, but it doesn't say what they are. Um, this product contains magnets. Do not use around items that are sensitive to or affected by mag magnetic fields. So like your VHS tapes, keep those safe from Barbie. Um, yeah, actually these probably wouldn't be sold today because of the magnets because little kids just can't stop eating magnets, which I remember was like an epidemic when I was younger. Like all these toys had to be recalled, but it just shows you how to put the stomach on and put the baby in and then how to flip the table around and make it all, you know, how I already described. And there we go. It shows you how to put the shirt on and the diaper. And then it shows you how to put the swaddle, swaddler, swaddling, swaddle, swaddle, waddle, waddle. I don't know. But it shows you how to do it. Then we have, ooh, some press outs here. So there's a birth certificate, and then there's like another little birth certificate thing. And then there's this like book for like baby, baby days, baby girl. I can't, it doesn't, it looks like gibberish. Um, and then, and it's like just a drawing though. <laughs> and then these are actual pictures of the dolls and you can press that out and put it in your Barbie doll scene if you would choose to do so. Um, and then so we have a photo album and funnily enough it is a um, Caucasian family on there so uh, <laughs> uh, yeah anyway I mean Mattel would it have killed you to take in promo pictures of the African Americans. So taking care of a new baby is so much fun when you do it together as one happy and loving family. And I love how they did the same thing that they did with the art family and they like made it a photo album so that they can sell you more shit. <laughs> um, so it just kind of shows you different things, it talks about different things and it's also selling you stuff. So it's like, here's the husband, he's really awesome and fun. And here's the doctor and she's super cool. It doesn't actually say that, but I mean, it might, I don't know. And then it shows you one of the fashion packs on the back here, which I think is ugly, honestly. Like this is what I was talking about where she just looks like she has no sense of style and she's just kind of like virginal looking. <laughs> like she just looks like she's, these look like pajamas. So I don't know. I think the later fashion packs are way cuter. And there is a nursery set. And this is also what I'm talking about. Like the colors just don't really go together for me. Like there's lots of pink and purple and yellow and then like blue randomly is in there. I don't know. I don't get it. Um, usually Mattel is way more stylish, I guess, but it's just kind of ugly. It's like an eyesore to me. Um, and then it says meet the whole family at barbie.com slash happy family. Barbie.com. First ass dad or mom. I remember that. Anyway, so here we are at the end of our review. Pull your dress down, you little never mind. Anyway, so we're at the end of the review. Um hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um look at the weirdly controversial doll, um, pregnant midge, happy family doll. Um I think that she's really cool. I don't see the controversy. I think people overreact and are really weird and they probably just don't want to explain to their kids where babies come from. Um, which I mean, I get it's really awkward, but you know, you're a parent and you probably should talk to your kids about things and inform them of things. And maybe if you see something as inappropriate, you shouldn't buy them and let other people enjoy what they want to enjoy. That goes for lots of things like horror movies and music. You know, you can decide what your kids do, but you can't decide what other kids do, let alone adults do and see and listen to. So 
that's my my message here today. So um, so thanks for making this doll is super hard to find. Not really hard to find, but like a really cool collector's item, a really notable doll in, in Barbie history. Because maybe otherwise she wouldn't have been if there wasn't so much outcry. Um, so anyway, <laughs> I don't see the point. Um, I think she was, she's really cool and she's really fun to play with. And um, I wish that Mattel would do something like this again. But being that Mattel seems to want to um, kind of stay away from controversy these days and really, I don't know, like go back and, and be what people want rather, well, partly what people want, like complainers and not actual fans. But that's, I've already talked about this. So, um, so yeah, I just, whatever. The style's cool. I wish they would do it again because it's really successful. Um, it would be really popular and I know collectors would buy it if the quality was there, which, eh. um, but anyway, yeah. So thanks for watching. I'm just rambling at this point. I'm sorry. So thanks for watching you guys. I really appreciate it. And I just want to say too, like if you, um, ever like miss me, <laughs> which I know you guys probably all do all the time, like you just think about all day. Um, you can find me on Instagram most of the time and I occasionally will do a live stream and, um, yeah, I would love to see you guys there. And I just think that that's really fun. It's a fun way to, to chat with you guys and we can all talk in the comments and that sort of thing. So if you're not following me on Instagram, do so. Um, I just want to say like I'm nearing 800 subscribers and that is amazing. When I started doing these reviews, I think I had like 200 or 300 something. So, um, I just think that it's really incredible that I've met so many people that enjoy these videos and love dolls like me. Um, and I just want to say that I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, it means an absolute, like, it, it means so much to me. It just means everything to me that um, I have, I've met all these crazy cool people. So, oh, crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. So I just wanted to say that. And I want to say thank you. And I hope that you guys have a good day. And I will see you guys soon with another doll review. Until then, please take care. Um, so, yeah. Have a good day. Bye, guys. Bye.